Hello Zaniacs, I am Lainey. I am Marshall. Today we have a bit of a different type of book review thing that we're doing. I'm actually reviewing two books at the same time. This could be interesting. The reason why I'm doing two books is because the premise of both books are so similar and I read them so close together that I was like, yeah, I think we could just kind of talk about both of them at the same time. Makes right. sense, right? So the first book I'm going to talk about is Keep My Heart in San Francisco by Amelia Diane Coombs. And what this book is about is a girl and her dad have a bowling alley and the bowling alley is going under. He can't pay the rent anymore on this bowling alley. Obviously it's San Francisco. She loves San Francisco. She wants to be like some kind of fashion person. So she wants to save the bowling alley so they don't move to Arizona, basically. She is really good at bowling. So there's this guy who's her ex-boyfriend who decides he's going to help her raise money by taking her to like underground bowling competitions so that she can, being a girl, con, con, and I'm going to say con because she's not really conning them, out of the money for these competitions because they think as a girl she has she doesn't know how to bowl. She's a ringer. But yeah, she's a ringer. So they're making money off of that in order to save the bowling alley. And that is that is really basically the story of, of it. It's kind of an interesting cute little, you know, young adult with a con artist twist, right? So before we talk about what I thought about both of these books, I will go on to the other book. And the other book is called The Scam List. And this is by Kurt Deenan. This book is about a boy and his mom who own a swap meet, kind of like an indoor swap meet thing. And guess what? It's going under. And guess what? He has to get money because somebody stole the nightly deposit from him in their own con. Now his dad is in jail for being a con artist, so of course he decides that he is going to get together with his, guess what, ex-girlfriend, and uh, he is going to con people out of their money, but their marks are only people who deserve to be conned, not unsuspecting people. So that's the one stipulation they have, so they're going to go con people out of their money so that they can save the swap meet for his mother. See the similarities there? Now, I will say, this is not the first book this year that I've read with a gotta save my parents business type of synopsis. I feel like this is really like taking off. <laughs> you know, this is a thing. Maybe it was always a thing and I didn't notice it. I don't know. But those are the two books. So thoughts on those before I go into my reviews. They need to have a crossover. You know, maybe he goes to scam her because she's, you know, this ringer going on and but then that they, they realize that they're both trying to pull the same thing and so they just work together to scam all the bowlers out of their scammed money. I don't know. Maybe. That's all I can think about with this because uh, it doesn't seem like it's got that complicated of a storyline. It really doesn't. Um, they're, it's a, they're fun. Uh, Keep My Heart in San Francisco is a very fun book. I really like how lighthearted it was. I liked how it was like you really felt about the characters you like the characters i read it very quickly i really enjoyed the read and for uh the scam list i liked it so since it's told from the point of view of the male protagonist the way it is written is definitely high school male and to me i didn't catch on to the character as much. I didn't really feel for him as much as I did for this girl who wanted to be like a fashion designer. So I, I think in that respect the scam list to me wasn't as interesting. What I will say is that I gave Keep My Heart in San Francisco three and a half stars. I gave the scam list three stars just because of the kill character development. Like were these books cute? Sure. Uh, did I enjoy them? Yes, I did. But uh, were they like amazing? Not really. And obviously, as you can see, it's not a very original pretense. No. Yeah. So those are my thoughts on those two books. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.